Hi everyone, this is Laura, and today I'm bringing a project shared to you, requested by, oops, oops, let me shrink that down, requested by my good friend, Miss Vicky, who is Mila Bono here on YouTube. And before I get to my project, I just have a real quick message for Vicky. Vicky, girl, um, last year you and I might have made about 20 Christmas layouts. So I definitely understand what you're saying when you say you looked for layouts out there from your other scrappy friends here on YouTube and you haven't seen much. Um, but I did make other layouts. I don't know if you were able to see them on my channel. Um, I have made a few already. But for you, I will make a few more. And because um, that's what us scrappy sisters here do on YouTube. Um, when someone um, asks for support, the rest of us rally up and try to support. So for you, Vicky, I made some Christmas layouts. This one I actually finished last night. I kept it simple only because the paper was super, super busy. And I wanted, I wanted, I wanted for some reason to work with busy paper. And I usually don't work with three busy papers, but I did for this layout. Also, Vicky, I sent you a private message. So when you get a moment, can you please just check that out? Okay. Now I got my my say sos in there. Let's get to this two page layout real quick. Um, first of all, the papers are all by Fancy Pants. With the exception, no, they are all by Fancy Pants, with the exception of the cardstock. The plain cardstocks are both by American Crafts. And the title to my um, two page layout, which I cannot fit in, is uh, maybe I can. Let me see if I can show it to you this way. Is, um, oh, wait, I got them backwards. It'd help if I get them on the right way. Um, and both of these thickers are by Fancy Pants. And lay the layout reads, there's no place like home for the holidays. Yes, I got corny. I got it off of the commercial and the song. So sue me. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> so these are Fancy Pants papers. And like I said, these are both um, by Pink Paisley, the, the thickers, the chipboard letters. Um, one is Enchanted and the other one, I'm not even too sure what it was called, but I do believe I have it right here. Yes, I do. This is called Expressions. And... Um, they're very glittery. I don't know if you can see that. It has a whole bunch of glitter on them. Love, 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 love the pink paisley um, letters. And what I love, I don't know if you guys can see this, but they give you the same letter. They give you a big one and a little one, a big one and a little one. And sometimes they even give you three different sizes. And that I love. I love that about um, pink paisley because... Um, although I love thickers, they're all the same size, and sometimes you want to switch up that font a little bit. It adds, it adds a lot more interest to the page. So um, for my favorite chipboard um, letter stickers, definitely Pink Paisley. And they're like that with all their um, chipboard stickers. Love, love, love them. So that's the title. Um, over here, I cut out two photo mats on um, the blue cardstock, the light blue, using my um, Fleur de Lis squares from, by Spellbinders. I have a little crochet trim here as well as over here. And I added some blue pearls, flatback pearls and white pearls throughout the whole entire page. I added it on the little um, flowers that were part of the chipboard um, stickers. I added it on the swirlies. That's another thing I love about the Fancy Pants um, letters, uh, the chipboard letters. They also, besides giving you all these wonderful different size fonts, they also give you a lot of swirlies, like a lot of extras. I also have these um, wooden snowflake um, embellies. And these I actually got from Oriental Trading years ago, and I never used them. And I'm using them now. 
I have some rhinestones to the center of those snowflakes and that's pretty much it for this page. Um, the reason I came up with home for the holidays, there's no place like home for the holidays, is I just loved all these little houses here on this paper. And it reminded me of just being home for the holidays, spending it with the ones you love. So that's what inspired that title. It really wasn't the commercial or the song. <laughs> but it was cute, right? <laughs> I have two more photo mats here. Again, I cut it out on the Spellbinders um, squares, uh, uh, the Fleur de Lis squares, um, and that was the largest um, uh, die um, in the pack that I used. I added some red bow ribbons that I made and attached to the top, and I backed each paper onto red cardstock. Um, I used my photo, con photo corners and I distressed everything on both papers with vintage photo. I also added this little embelly that also is by Pink Paisley and they're made out of rubber and it's a little Christmas tree. I don't know if you can see it. And they're pretty thick, guys. Can you see how thick that is? I also added the little candy cane and the little star, which I added uh, a pearl to. And this is just my journal spot because, as you know, I journal on every single one of my layouts. Sometimes hidden, sometimes not so hidden. But usually I will not journal until I add the photos. And a lot of times I don't journal until I'm putting the picture away. Unless it's something that I want to write down and I don't want to forget right away. Or unless it's my hands are really good that day and I can write and it's not so sloppy, then I, I will show it on camera. But other than that, that's why... I never show it on camera because my handwriting has gotten really, really bad, unlegible anyway. So why, um, why show it? Um, some more of those wooden chipboard snowflakes with little center rhinestones. Um, I added stickles to the brown only because the blue had... Um, glitter on it but not the brown and I didn't want the brown letters to feel like left out <laughs> some more of those cute little flowers from the sticker collection again some more um, white pearls and blue bling throughout the page and guys do you see this little gingerbread bread man paper up here with the popcorn and cranberry garland I actually I fell in love with this paper as soon as I saw it and I knew I had to use it because besides um, seeing the little Christmas houses and just thinking about all the Christmases I spent with my family at home and, you know, and eating and singing. And I remember my mom sitting us down when we were little, um, one of the Christmases, and actually making garland like this for our Christmas tree. And can I tell you, every time I look at popcorn and cranberries, it reminds me of Christmas. Um, and that was actually one of, one of my favorite Christmas memories. I have so many of them, but I do remember that. And I thought of that right away when I saw that paper, so I had to, had to use it. And I just love the way the papers can bring up memories that um, sometimes we don't even remember they're there. We kind of forget them. So those are my... Um, that's my very simple, very fast uh, two-page two layout. And I, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I did use uh, three different pattern papers. Like I said, I kept it really busy with this one. And I think I mentioned that all three of them came from um, Pink Paisley, but just in case I didn't, there you go. I hope you all like my project. I hope you are all having a wonderful and blessed Friday, and I look forward to bringing you more videos. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Be blessed. Bye now.